Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. You have probably purchased them. You might esteem them. Compact fluorescent light bulbs. Somebody pointed out the one that I have just up there. And, uh, uh, called me a hippie. Well, I haven't purchased anything except these. Probably for five, six, seven years now. Even though they used to be as, as much as ten dollars a piece at the, the Polish store just down the corner from where I lived in, in, uh, in Connecticut. Nine ninety nine a piece, and we would buy one at a time, me and my brother. As an investment, because it cuts down so drastically. It cuts down 75% on your lighting bill. And, you know, looking at the numbers like that, the Edison bulb is terribly inefficient. Now, that's all fine. Now, here's the killer. A senator did a speech where he talked about some legislation that's been passed. Edison's great invention will be illegal as it is in Australia today. It will be illegal throughout our fruited plains, in the senator's words, uh, 2014 or 2012 or something like that. That is unacceptable. I don't think that the government has any right to telling us what kind of light bulbs to buy. That's ridiculous. That means that there is a religion that has taken over the government and that religion is called environmentalism. It's a religion and we should separate it from the government the way that we separate uh, everything else including Catholicism. All the other religions, environmentalism should be separate from the government. You can't tell me which light bulb to buy. They have one reason they like these. It's 25% as much electricity for the same amount of light. That's the one reason they like them. Look at that. It's quite a delicate bulb, isn't it? Breaks quite easily, doesn't it? Well, change chapters for just a moment. Huh? Put that in your pocket. Well, don't put it in your pocket. You might break it. Let's go get a thermometer and check our temperature because we're either really angry that they've outlawed Edison's invention or else we're sick. Oh, well, our thermometer is not going to have mercury in it because mercury is so dangerous that the government has restricted its use. Uh, so their thermometer that we have today is going to be some sort of electrical unit. Not a glass thermometer with mercury in the middle. Perhaps has mercury inside, but it's not going to be something that you could drop on the floor and release the mercury. That's as bad as a car without a catalytic converter, or worse. Because mercury, as I've heard, I believe it's in the senator's speech, mercury is listed just below the radioactive elements in toxicity to man. There is no other element that's more toxic to man than mercury, except for radioactive elements. Now, these babies have vaporized mercury in them. How serious is that? I don't know. I don't know how much they have in them. The EPA has rules for cleaning them up. If you ever break one of them, and I've broken several, and I didn't know this, if you ever break one of them, you're supposed to take the pets and yourself out of the room for 15 minutes and open windows and doors. That dissipates the mercury, and that reduces the likelihood that you're going to get a larger dose. After 15 minutes of a ventilated room, you can go back in, do not sweep the floor. Okay, don't vacuum it either. That will put the dust up in the air. This is bad. Don't do that. Use duct tape. I'm serious. This isn't a joke. Use duct tape. You know, use whatever tape you have. Duct tape's good. Duct tape. Because it's nice and wide. Masking tape, packing tape, anything. Pick all the glass and all the dust up off the floor that you can get w uh, by that method. Then, that tape is got, it has mercury on it. So, it has to be put into a glass jar and the lid has to be sealed. Everyone has a glass jar available as the 
Senator from Texas comments, Madam Speaker, this isn't unreasonable. Every, everyone has a glass jar available. Seal the glass jar and then put that in the trash. That won't contaminate the landfill. You've seen the big old that dump trucks they put them in. That's unlikely to break any glass containers. Uh, and if so, probably not the one with the light bulb debris. Is it reasonable to ask us to clean those up in this way? Is that worth it? To have that sort of toxicity around us? I have dozens of these. A lamp falls over and I can break two or three of those. What has this religion of environmentalism foisted upon us, ladies and gentlemen? I haven't purchased a, an Edison bulb in several years, but I don't think I'm going to purchase another one of these little mercury capsules. Environmentalism is harming us, not helping us.